Right, hey guys. Um, so the last car was the Vectra. Um, I've changed that since then. Um, now I've got a 05 Mondeo um, 2 litre tub diesel Z Tech engine. Um, I love it. Um, compared to the Vectra, um, so much more economical. Um, I'm doing roughly 50 miles to the gallon now instead of um, what was, I think it was 25, is it, on the Vectra? Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Um, so we're going to take it for a quick spin, um, tell you the good points, what I like about it, what I don't. Um, so, oh, you can't see here, but i got a cup holder right down by here. I don't know if I can show you guys. Is that on? Here we are, look, look at that. So the Vectra didn't have um, much cup holders. Um, so the Vectra didn't have much cup holders. Um, so disappointed at that because when I did have a coffee or my drink for when I go to the gym, my drink, um, I just leave that here now. Um, couldn't do that with the Vectra. Um, so um, as with most Fords, or maybe all Fords, I don't know, all modern Fords anyway, you got the um, windscreen demisters um, hidden in the windscreen but here so that if you have a mister screen, uh, condenses up in the cold, it'll clear that up really quick. Um, unfortunately, mine will only work, there's like two strips down here that will only work and then the rest of it is still messed up. So if anybody knows how I can fix that, that will be amazing. Um, so um, controls are easy to use, um, the, the temperature and the fan speed, um, I have to press multiple times to go up and down, um, which I don't really like. Um, it's easier on other cars because you could just turn a knob or a dial and it's done straight away then. Um, this one I'll have to keep, keep tapping until I get to the min or max. Um, anyway, so let's take this car for a little spin. Um, so it's got six speed. And let's go. So it pulls up. Very talky as you can imagine, turbo diesel. A lot noisier than my uh, Vectra because it's a diesel. Pulls off nice, nice and tall. The suspension's a lot softer than the Vectra, um, with the Vectra being an SRI anyway, and this is just a uh, uh, Z Tech bit. It's not like it's an RS or ST or any sporty version. I should be driving the other way around so that you can you guys can experience the uh, the sun round and the shadows and the, let's take a left here instead of going. supposed to be going right. I'm on my way to the gym. Right so Because I, I really would, I am, I really would love to know. Right, so round the corner, handles pretty well. Round the roundabout, pulls off. 
So the car is at 118,000 miles. I've had it at 107,000 miles. So I've had it almost a year. Did a lot of mileage in it. Um, I like this car. I've taken it along Leeds Safari Park with the monkeys, ripping the car apart in the roof. I'm taking my roof trims off. Um, good job, it's only like four pounds for this. Nice sunglasses holder up here. Nice and empty. I do like the. Um, this, so there's a little cubby hole just up here on the right. There's little slots in there for one pound coins, which is very handy. Um, it's good for supermarkets, for the trolleys, or when I just need a bit of extra cash and I don't have any on me. Got a phone holder here. Um, Amazing, it hasn't fallen off since I put it on. So, if you're watching, Steve, thanks for that. Much appreciated. Um, so, the boot space, um, just like any saloon, I suppose, um, does the job. That's a room. I still miss my old car. Um, I used to have. Um, Renault began the estate. It's got, the estate's got so much unbelievable. I love it. Um, which makes me want another estate. So, any ideas? What can my next car be? Um, an estate, some sort of estate. Um, let me know, guys, um, what you would like. Um, so I'll have a quick research and see what it is. Maybe it's something good and useful that I'd like to. Um, so I think economical would be nice because it's not so much travelling. Um, as, as some of you will probably know, um, on the wedding for Cabral, South Wales, and further. Um, so I've been driving quite a lot. So an economical car will be required. So we're just going around this roundabout again. It's handling well. No complaints about this car. It's, uh, it does the job. There's analog clock here for a change, old school. Um, so that's it guys. Um, if there's anything you'd like to ask me about the car, um, anything you pointed out that I was wrong about, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll try and update the video at a later date or correct it in the description. So thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try and drive my wife's Toyota Ego uh, next for you guys. Um, that's a very popular car these days um, with only 24 road tax. I think I'm paying 120 maybe or 180 road tax. Um, so, anyway, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Love this.